When will schools open? Our takeaways allowed. And can I go and see my mum? Our lives right now are pretty much controlled by something called R0, also known as the R number. It tells us how many people will likely get infected for every one person who gets ill with coronavirus. If the reproductive number is two, then one person will probably make two others sick, and so the disease spreads. If it's three, then it'll be around three. Without a cure or vaccine, this R number guides every decision governments make to fight this pandemic. Before changes were brought in to reduce the spread of coronavirus, its R number was between two and three, which is why it spread so quickly. The aim is for it to be less than one and to keep it there so health services can cope. But when R0 is less than one, we can't immediately switch back to how things used to be. Each restriction that's lifted makes the R number rise, some more than others, but it's not clear how much. And how restrictions are lifted exactly will affect the R number too. For instance, what happens if schools reopen? What if only some pupils go back? These decisions have to be made for everything. And the answers aren't clear. Governments need to carefully balance this need to get countries moving again while still keeping the public safe.